Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Gwent. So, I'm um, taking a break from the breeding deck. I did get the crones, like I said I would, and uh, I've been kind of getting pretty good win rates with that, but I wanted to try something different. Since I don't have enough cards in any faction to make a really strong deck, I decided that while I wait and win some more matches, that I would use the cards that I've already invested a lot in, or a lot of points, a lot of scraps and ore, and picks into um, all of the monsters and stuff and make a weather deck. So I'm calling it Inclement because that's like cold and rainy or whatever. Um, so the basic strategy is to use Frost and Fog and to um, to have it not hurt your creatures but hurt the opponent's creatures and actually benefit yours. So right now I'm using all of the, the Frost Synergy cards from uh, the monsters deck uh, with Wild Hunt Riders, Wild Hunt Warriors, uh, the Ice Giant, which doubles his strength, is really, really strong. And Karanthor, or Karanthir. For the Fog cards, I'm using Woodland Spirit, along with all the Ancient Foglets and the regular Foglets. I also have the Crones in the deck, and instead of Geralt, I decided to go with a combination of Zoltan, which gives me a little bit more flexibility with buffs and debuffs, and he's a gold cord. And also, Im, I think it's I'm Lerith or Im Lerith. Anyway, uh, it lets you do a little bit of removal, and it could be quite devastating to something like a breeding deck. Uh, so it is. I, I really like the uh, the way that this card works, and honestly, most of the time I do get more than twelve strength out of this card. It's already an eight, and it's gold, so it's pretty big. So anyway. Um, to buff all this, I'm using Stamelford's Tremors, which uh, is devastating against breeding decks and pretty much any deck that has multiplications. A lot of people are playing Airden right now, so this is really good against decks like my breeding deck that I was using that really, really focus on small numbers. Uh, White Frost, which spawns Frost and Fog. Commander's Horn, naturally. I'm using a little bit of removal here with the uh, Alzer's Thunder. This can break combos really, really bad. <laughs> like... If somebody has a specific combo, it can burn them. So I, uh, it's it's quite strategic to play with that. Uh, also, three frog, three fogs, and three frosts, along with swallow potions and thunderbolt potions. So I'll show you how the deck works a little bit. I've been collecting a little bit of cards in other factions too, and I'm hoping to get into those really soon. But um, right now, it'll it'll work like this. So let's play Inclement. It's 38 cards altogether. Um, the deck can probably be slimmed a little bit. Like, I don't really need crones in. But crones are really good. <laughs> I mean, really good. And since I'm not playing anything that affects the back row, I may as well play with as them. As it is three star. silver cards, though. So if I had some Daddy more strength in silver, words. I may do something. Okay, so we're we're versus Aridin. Which is, um, it's always interesting to play Aridin. Because they play weather effects as well. Um... So what we're going to do is we're going to try to eliminate any duplicates, like we don't want two crones in our starting hand for sure. Uh, we, can we can spawn frost, and we can spawn frost and fog. What we should search for is something that can spawn fog, and that would help our foglet immensely. I think... Let's see, we have a Wild Hunt Rider, we have two Wild Hunt Riders. Let's discard the third Wild Hunt Rider and we got more removal. So we didn't get Fog straight out, but we did have White Frost. So it's opponent's turn. Any last words? See, that's what I usually did <laughs> when I had Geralt in my deck. But I don't, so what I think I'm going to do instead is use the Crones. So the Crones would make him use... Aridin to win. A lot of the times he'll just pass, and I'll still get to keep a seven strength card. And sometimes they just use Scorch and they burn it, which is okay because my Frost Giant uh, <laughs> stays safe like that. So he did use Aridin, which puts him at 22. Now I get to get rid of both of those, and I still have Aridin. And I'll keep a 7 power card that doesn't contribute to a strategy. But um, it is some leftover power. So I think I'm going to do that. Plus, Frost and Fog don't affect these gold units. So getting rid of one is better uh, for me. We still don't know what he's doing. And he still doesn't know what I'm doing. 
And if he plays the card right here, he's just silly. There we go. All right. So I have to win the next two. That's how it works. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll keep a seven power card, and he kept Geralt, which is a 12 power card. Not too bad. We're five behind, but we got another Foglet and a Fog. Okay, you see, this is good. This is really good. Okay, so... Do you want to tickle me? Uh, he used that. This is... I never... I don't think I've ever seen Sarah. Add four strength to this unit each time weather is spawned. Or a clear skies card is played immune to weather. Okay, so this is extremely strong. And he probably has a weather deck too. So we're going to just destroy it. This is what I mean about how valuable removal can be. Extremely valuable. Also, he just said that... He just pretty much confirmed that he's using weather cards. So, what we need to do is concentrate on the fact that he's going to play Frost because he has a big Frost card out. So, let's, let's help him. Let's help him. It was going to happen anyway. It was going to happen anyway. So now... Ah, he played rain too. That's interesting. So he's playing with all weather. That's interesting. Okay, well we don't have anything on the back line, so that really didn't affect us. Um, but we do have to play another card now. Let's just start playing our frost cards. Uh, we can nerf the front line because he might have Commander's Horn or a buff, so we may as well. We don't have any Thunderbolt potions, but we might get some. We're going to save all that for Fog if we do, though. May as well. No real targets to do. Yeah, we know that. Without Commander's Horn, this is going to be pretty hard to pull off. Oh, now he's playing his fog cards too. See, that's pretty interesting. We'll wait until he plays a fog. But we're going to take... I don't know if we should take his fog lid away or not. Let's see. Because we won't need frost at all, we will not need frost again. I'm going to go ahead and spawn fighting frost. So that was just basically a misplay. Like, I couldn't get any points from that, but I gave him... So I'm, I'm having him reveal a card. Okay, so he passed. He wants me to... Well, I gotta beat him right now. I have to. So let's go ahead and take care of... We need 14 points. Let's do Aridin. Okay, now we only need four more points here. So if we take away his six... It's done. He might still have a big combo, but that's a chance that we're going to have to take. Because the only other option is to play one of our bigger cards, and we don't want to do that. Alright, so that gave us the round. Now we're going to be heavily relying on <laughs> Fog, which he probably will too, because he's playing Weather and he hasn't revealed any Fog cards. So this is kind of strong. Hopefully we get a Commander's Horn or something outrageous. Maybe even a Thunderbolt Potion. I kept Aridin, which is good. Oh, Frost. That's terrible. That was a bad draw, man. That was a very bad draw, and it's my turn. Okay, so I'm going to play Frost. <laughs> May as well. There is no escape. All right. So let's go ahead and play our uh, Ancient Foglet. And hopefully he'll play a Fog just to get our boost going first. Because if he plays the Fog, these guys gain every one of your turn. Yeah, he did. He did. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The best thing we could do now 
is get our other foglet out. That way they both gain every turn. And what was that? Oh, that spawned rain and fog. Okay, I got you. So that buffed us both, basically. And I think... Let's use Emrelith. So this is what I mean. I'm going to use Emrelith here. And I'm going to destroy a creature with three power. And it's going to do one damage to everything else. So that was significant. And he forfeited. Wow. Wow. So apparently he just had a bunch of other weather cards left or whatever since I was playing weather. See, I had to slow play that, but it worked out really, really well. All right, I got 15 more ore. I need to win one more so that I can get, um, I can, I can raise a level. Let's do Inclement again. I'm gonna take a sip of my little beverage here. Cheers, guys. Cheers for the victory. All right, let's see what we got. Onward! Attack! All right, we get to fight Foltest. So, this is a good opportunity if you if you haven't been watching a whole lot of Witcher content, um, not Witcher content, Gwent content, you'll see what the the um, the blue faction can do. All right, this is a pretty rough draw here. Let's get rid of the. Oh no! So we have two crones. We want to get rid of a crone, and we want to get rid of another foglet. Hopefully, we don't draw something that's a duplicate. Okay, good. We got frost card. That's actually amazing. <laughs> I feel really, really good about this. All right, so our first turn, I pretty much do this because you're not revealing anything. They already know you're playing Aridin, so I just play Aridin, and it's a 10 power. If they pass to me, I get to keep it. If they don't play something for 10, then we don't tie. If they play something bigger, like a Geralt, naturally I have to play again or pass, but I usually just pass. I usually just play and then pass. Yep, now if I... So the, the only thing about full test is that there's combos that can trigger that are so powerful that you can't do anything about them. But the game will be over quick if that happens and I could just forfeit out. So I'm going to still pass the turn. So I'll have card advantage. He has to play another card to beat me here. And that means it'll be 10 cards to 9 cards. And that's what I was afraid of. Those, that, that card die. right there. This Adrenaline Rush. Basically what normally happens is Adrenaline Rush gets placed on a card. Oh! So a lot of times they'll, they'll use, they'll use so many cards, they'll use almost all the cards out of their hand to buff that one card that's staying on board for a long, long time. And we just got very, very good. Wild Hunt Warrior's good here. Very, very nice good. Nice mesh you've got here. Okay, so he's not suspecting Frost. If he is, he's crazy because I'm about to nerf his two units. Um, I don't have anything that spawns more than one thing for Frost. So I think Frost is probably the best thing that I can do. This is pretty common, so I won't use Frost yet. I'll go ahead and put Wild Hunt Riders in. They get no benefit whether Frost is in play or not. You one of us or not. He's going to buff that. Okay, that's actually really, really good. Because if he does have a clear skies and I use frost, I still am going to nerf these cards down. Uh, so let's use it now. Alright. That took his power down huge. So he might just say, well, he used frost. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Which would kind of suck. <laughs> because... I killed for less. Ah, well the frost was already cast, that's the thing. So the crazy thing about some of this is I can eliminate these units by pushing further. I don't have any wins yet, so I really need to win this battle. I don't know if I'll get another frost, but if I do play my big card, this is seven points of benefit that I'll never have. These don't get a buff for Frost. They just don't get a debuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and play Ice Giant. Uh... 
<laughs> yeah, I saw him look at it. He was like, whoa, that's a big creature. Okay. So I think it would benefit us. I don't know why he would have targeted Aridin. Maybe he was just looking to play a card. I'm not too sure. I hate to use a Thunderbolt Potion. I'm going to go ahead and play my other Frost cards here. Or at least one. Resistance is futile. And let's see. Blue Stripes Commando. Two strength to your copies of this unit wherever they are. Uh, they basically all do the same thing. Uh, this guy has already removed gold status. Let me just remove it. All of the Blue Stripes Commandos are the same. Alright, so I only wasted one of these guys to make sure that he would pass the turn. Alright, it's one to one now. One to one, and I hope I keep my Frost Giant. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Trash. Trash, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, that's good though. Thunderbolt Potion is pretty good. Because I'm gonna I'm I'm using fog this turn, okay? So now I don't want to show them that I'm using fog yet. I'm gonna continue like I'm playing frost here. Oh no, I can't do that. Let me play crones. This is still isn't gonna reveal my strategy yet. And that's 21 points, baby. That's huge. Priceless. Okay, he gave me seven <laughs> from that. I don't. I really don't understand this card. A lot of times I eat it with my breeding deck, but I know you get card advantage from putting it. But that's seven. Draw one card face up and one card face down, keep one, return the other to your deck. But I still have seven power on my side, which is crazy sauce, man. Okay, so he still hasn't played anything that shows me what's what. So I'm gonna go ahead and play an Ancient Fog Clip. Oh, I don't have Fog! I didn't even think about that. Well, dang. I just assumed that I had fog for some reason. Oh my god. That sucks. Okay. So. I can take out this reinforced trebuchet. Which this might be his whole strategy. If it is, we're going to kill it. If not, <laughs> we're not going to do too good. Okay, so I don't have any fog, but that's okay. I only have one card that would have benefited from fog, really. I don't have any more weather effects, which is kind of scary. What do you want of me? All right. The best thing that we can do is just start getting multiples out. Death comes for you. We don't have Commander's Horn either. This is going to be a hard one to win. Well, want? maybe not. His combos get pretty big, though. Resistance is futile. His combos get pretty big, but I am way ahead right now because he gave me seven. <laughs> so I don't know how this is going to work yet. We'll see. I still have a lot of buffs. The only thing is I only have two duplicate units. Oh, he just forfeited. What the heck, man? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Just because my deck doesn't work perfectly doesn't mean there's a will and they pull off all their strategies. So that was an easy, easy, easy win. We only had 18 minutes. I feel like we should do one more. And he GG'd me. That's good. Yeah, let's do one more, y'all. We might play something very interesting here. All right. Searching for an opponent. So far, those two forfeits, that means that we just played well. Slow play sometimes is really, really good when you really evaluate what you're going to do. See, the breeder deck, it didn't give you a whole lot of strategy. I mean, it did. Don't get me wrong. You still have to know when to play stuff, not to reveal your strats. But weather is, like, huge. Like, you really have to think we about do it. We do what must be done. All right, Francesca. So, you haven't seen me play Francesca, so this is pretty good. Um, they have some crazy, crazy, crazy abilities. And I really like the green faction, actually. Let's see. So we don't need... Oh, man. This is, these are great cards. Great, great, great cards. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Wild Hunt Rider. Man. We are playing against... I don't think we'll meet, need Stamblefoot's Tremors. I don't think. Uh, that's actually better. Wild Hunt Warrior. So we don't have any... 
fog. We don't have any frost uh, fog cards to go off of. We have a lot of strength in frost already. I'm trying to think. I think we should get rid of one swallow potion, even though it's straight up power. Maybe not. If they don't have a scorch, maybe we could benefit from this. Let's just accept it. We'll try it. We we won two already. So if we we experiment a little bit and lose this um, lose this match, it's okay. I do have one fog card, so that the uh, fog and frost. So that's pretty good. All right. So we're going to should I play Aridin and just pass? I think I might go for two rounds of frost. I'll tell you what. Let me... Let me play Aridin. I'll play Aridin. I'm not going to go too off the beaten path here. I'm doing a whole lot of thinking here. <laughs> whole lot. I was thinking about playing nothing but um, the Ice Giant. Like getting the Ice Giant out. But I didn't want to use this card to get it. If I would have had just a regular frost, I would have. Uh, so he totally just wants to eliminate that. Basically, he's going to pass the turn, is probably what I'm thinking. So I don't want to play anything. He wants to keep the power 9 so he can compete against Airden. So I'm going to push. If he plays a card to beat me, like a 10 power card, he loses a 10 power card, but it will get a 9 next, and he'll win the round. But I don't know. Uh, Green has some 10 power dwarves, so he could do it. If he plays that 10 power dwarf, he got the round. But that's okay. I'm just going for card advantage at this point. Card advantage is king, man. It gives you so much flexibility. It basically lets you customize your strategy even more uh, because you have two cards. Sometimes it's trash. Sometimes you get a crap draw, you know? So he used his, uh, his Geralt. Which, hopefully, that gets removed. If he keeps it, that's not going to be real Frost-centric, but... Perfect. That couldn't have happened better. And that couldn't have happened better either. Oh my god, that's awesome. Alright. That's a great draw, man. So we're already 10-9 to 9 beating him. And Frost, and this card is affected by Frost, so... Uh, he's, he's boned, man. He's boned. We can have two very strong rounds coming up. He might too. <laughs> or she. Curtain. We do what must be done. So the special ability for this is basically I think it's to draw three cords. We'll we'll see what it does in just a second. I really wish they wouldn't blur out everything. They could put that logo a little bit smaller. So if any devs are watching, that's what I would suggest. Give you time to look at your own cards, look at the board, let you think, because this is just taking forever. Choose up to three cards in your hand and replace them with cards randomly drawn from your deck. Okay, so basically, getting rid of all the fluff. Alright, so, we don't want to use removal yet, or any sort of debuff yet, because that card's just a plain old nine, and Frost is going to take care of that. Um, let's go ahead and spawn Caranther, and that's going to be Frost and power. That's 12 power and frost. So we're 21 points ahead. Now if he does have a clear skies, he knows that he needs to hold it because I'm gonna play a lot of stuff. Well, he doesn't necessarily know. Sometimes people are very premature on the way they play their clear skies cards. But I have another frost card waiting. But if he had melee units and he doesn't have anything to prevent weather right here, He's going to be pretty sore. Like, it's just going to destroy his strategy. I've been there a ton of time. And being that he's going between a lot of different cards here, it's kind of a telltale sign. Although, if he thinks he's going to lose the, the, the round... Your tricks will not save you, Duan. Hmm. See, if he didn't want... If he thought that he couldn't win this round, he would have probably just gave it to me. So I really don't know. Alright. I still have 11 cards to his 9, which is pretty good. So create and play one Commando Neophyte unit, which he's already done. Um, let's just, uh, let's do something big here. Well, no, we're not going to do anything big. Let's play some Wild Hunt Warriors and start destroying no his stuff. Escape. And these have no abilities, but... 
We'll go ahead and get rid of him. I have no idea what those elves are capable of doing, but he might have buff elf cards. <laughs> Who knows? 28 points. Come on, man. Just pass the turn. Give me the round. See, you gotta think. He needs 24 points to beat me. 23 points to tie me. If he isn't planning on investing a lot of cards into beating me this round, he may as well just give it to me. And he's kind of playing some weak stuff, so I think he's trying for me to exhaust my strategy. And that's okay. <laughs> because I still have plenty left. So, this is wonderful. So now he's like, okay, he's playing all his frost cards. He's gonna get rid of them. That way when I pass the turn, he won't have anything left to do. But I still have a lot of cards. You can't think like that when a guy has nine cards left. All right. So now, these guys choose a non-goal unit. Okay, opponent's battlefield and remove three strength from it. If it's not destroyed, add two strength to this. Gotcha. I think what I'm gonna do is play my last frost card. No, I probably don't need to. I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do Thunderbolt Potion on my Wild Hunt Riders. Now I'm way ahead. Come on, give me the round. Don't be crazy. Come on, Courtney562. No, you want to give me the round. <laughs> She's killing me, or he's killing me. Thinking hard, man. Thinking hard. <laughs> they can hide, but there is no escape. All right. Oh, tragic, man. Tragic, tragic, tragic. I really don't want to use any other cards. I would much rather use my Foglet over my Ice Giant. I don't want to use any of my Swallow Potions. I could remove something too, which non go unit from your opponent's side of the battlefield and remove five strength from it. I may just take away... I hate to use removal because he could have something very, very strong, but I'm going to do it anyway. Rather than compromise the, the strategy, I'm going to push him to play one more card. I need to win this round. <laughs> and I don't want <laughs> I don't want to do it. He's going to play again. This son of a gun. Courtney, you killing me. Ryan! Courtney! Stop, Courtney. Stop the madness. I'm gonna play this stupid foglet. I have three seven powers on board and an No, I have three seven powers on board, so if he had a scorch, he would have used it by now. Okay, so now I need to start thinking about how to <laughs> how to prevent as much loss as possible. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Swallow Potion on the Wild Hunt Hound. I'll get the power and it'll even up my chances to possibly have a stronger card. Because if the Wild Hunt Hound would have came with me to after, for the next round, it would have only had a one power. Now I could have used that anyway but it's a way to kind of mitigate the loss of a card. I 
I really don't want to have to use my fog or my, uh... Crap. Okay. I'm gonna use my fog again. I, 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 I got to. I have to. I don't have to. I could have used another swallow push, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh my god. Alright. He might have think he did pretty well right there. Which is probably kind of right. <laughs> Alright. I really don't think he can win in two cards. But I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt, guys. I'm not. I can't. I can't do it. He still has two cards. One card, maybe. He's just getting me to push all my strategy, hoping that I have something like a clear skies at the end, or another wasteful fog card, or something like that. He's gonna play again. Okay, you see, he commander horned. That could have been bad. Now, he can't have another one. I'm going to pass and make him play that stupid card. Dang it, Courtney! You're killing me. Can you even win? You shouldn't play that card if it's something. No. <laughs> he finally gave it to me. Dang, Courtney! Whew! I'm sweating over here. Okay, I kept an 8 power card. And he kept a 3. Alright, we're already ahead. And we drew Frost. <laughs> Which is gonna nerf his card anyway. Alright, we already had Frost. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just gonna play Frost. And he's gonna be like, oh. If he had clear skies, he'll use it now. But I'm pretty sure that's that's game. Pretty sure that's game. That's it. I don't even know what that is. Whenever a special card is played, add three to this unit. He must have just drew that. All right. Let's do Ice Giant. That's a 14 power card. <laughs> he ain't got nothing in his deck that big. Nothing. 21. Uh -uh. Okay, you see? He was holding it. That is scary because I can't buff this last unit. I can't do it. I can't do it. But, oh no, he doesn't have any more cards. I'm, I'm ahead. I'm done. It, we won. We, <laughs> we won. Oh! The stress. This game is so wonderful, man. It's so good. It is so good. I love the strategy. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, we got 15 more scraps. We leveled 21. Guys, that's it. We're gonna call it there. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.